Hi guys! And today I'm going to be talking to you about my CDC bracelet. I'm not going to pronounce it because I know I will say it wrong and everyone will say that's not how you say it. So um, I'm just going to say CDC by Hermes. Um, I love this bracelet. It's my favourite bracelet. Um, I just think it's stylish, it's fashionable, it's trendy and it just goes with everything. Initially when they came out, I, or when I first saw it years ago, I was like, I don't like it. Um, you know, I didn't like the, the stud spike things. I thought it was a bit too rocky for me. It wasn't really my style. Um, but I finally bought one last year, last summer. I bought it in white for those summer months. And um, it just looks really good. And I thought I'd show it to you today because I'm wearing white jeans. So as you can see, it just looks really good when you're wearing white. And I've got this cobalt blue peplum top on. I know peplums aren't really in fashion anymore. But to be honest, I've got tiny hips and a peplum works wonders. If you've got small hips, it just gives you curves that weren't there before. And I will always wear a peplum. I love it. So I don't care if it's in fashion or not, I still wear them. So yeah, I just thought it looked really good with the outfit. I always keep it quite plain, quite simple when I'm wearing this bracelet because I want the bracelet to speak for itself. It's quite chunky. The leather strap on it isn't that thick, but obviously because of the hardware, if you can kind of see, it ends up being quite quite chunky on the wrist, so you really don't need any other jewellery on your wrist. And I kind of feel like you don't need anything on the other arm either, like let this speak for itself, let this stand out. So I just wanted to tell you about it really and just how much I like it. What I'm going to do, which I think will be quite fun and interesting, is I'm going to do another video, hopefully within the next week, and it's going to be a comparison between this and the click bracelets. So just in case you're, you want to purchase an Hermes bracelet and you don't know which one to go for, I'm going to do a comparison and just show you them one on one wrist, one on the other, and just do a comparison to show you what the differences are the pros and cons of both, and then an overall view of what I think would be the better bracelet. Which one would I recommend? Um, the reason I really like this bracelet is because you can adjust the um, size of it on your wrist. I have it on the smallest size because I have tiny little wrists, little skinny wrists, and I want it to fit properly. There's a slight give on the wrist, but it's not too much. and. On a really hot day, to be honest, on a really hot day, I probably wouldn't wear it. But I live in the UK, so we don't really get really hot days. But if we did, I wouldn't really wear it because, you know, it can get a bit sweaty. But you can loosen it, so it's not as bad as if, if you do that. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely love it. And it's definitely my favourite bracelet. And I think it would look really good with the Valentino rock stud heels as well. So maybe one day I'll do like a little outfit of the day and pair it with those and see what you guys think but at the same time you could just wear it with plain shoes like plain heels or flats maybe even like trainers you could wear like some high tops or something and just I really honestly feel like you can dress it up or down and like this speaks for itself so I definitely recommend it um, I just think it's a great piece it really is a great piece and I love that you know the brown I love the black and I chose the gold hardware just because I think it's, for me anyway, it really complements my skin tone. Obviously I have a tan skin and gold looks really good against tanned skin. And I just prefer gold. I just think it's more classic. It's more classy. I just prefer it. I'm really into yellow gold. So I'm really into the gold hardware. Um, previously I would have picked silver to go with white because I think the two just go hand in hand. But these days I'm all about the yellow gold, so yeah, I picked it in yellow gold. Um, the only thing annoys me about this bracelet is the little jangling from this little kind of lever bit here, this little hook thing. Um, it's a little bit annoying, but that is literally the only con about this bracelet. I do wish they did like a leather-free option because I'm trying to not buy leather 
leather these days so I feel like a lot of people don't wear leather and why don't these designers bring out their leather options and a non-leather option like I don't understand if I was a designer I would bring out like a beautiful bag like that one I would bring it out I'd say this is the Alma in leather and this is the non leather Alma so that everyone could enjoy it like loads of people don't like leather and it excludes them from so many beautiful bags and shoes and jewelry because they will not buy the leather and if only these designers brought out the non leather versions I just think it would be really popular and I would definitely prefer to buy non leather versions as opposed to the leather um, but yeah that's just a side note anyway so definitely recommend this um, yeah and keep your eyes peeled for the other review on the other Hermes bracelets as well um hope you're all having a great day and i'll see you guys soon bye